it is Marvin Red here and I just got back from vacation. I was in Connecticut first at my cousin's lake house and for 4th of July and then I went straight to um Portland to see oh god. Don't come in here cowboy's not allowed in here cuz he's bad. You naughty, you sneaky man. You tell him Red, he's not allowed. Um well, anyway, I was in Portland, and I just got home today, actually. Um, I got home maybe like an hour ago. <sighs> it's a great start to the video. Um, <laughs> no, no playing in the room. You go. No playing in the room. They know they're not allowed to play in here. <laughs> um, but as sad as I am to leave... I do want to show you guys some stuff I got. I thought this would be kind of like a tea and uh, BGDs, except I don't have tea. I have water. <laughs> um, I'm just too lazy. So I thought I, I wanted to kind of show you guys the stuff that I got in Portland and some of the stuff that I made. So I'll be right back and I will show you those things. Okay, so... I guess I'll show you the clothes that I got first. So this is MSD sized. I made this like, I don't know if you can see, it's like my first try to pleated skirt. It's kind of long though. It's supposed to go like up to like here on them. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good for my first attempt, I think. Um, and this is the shirt that I made it to go with. So you can see, oh, she's still wearing her mask from the airport, but um, this is the shirt that I made. Um, it's like puffy sleeve and this fabric is really soft and then it's like blue and it's got more of the pink down here. Cute little lace um, cuff. And then these were some pants I made a while ago, I think last summer when I was there and I just kept forgetting to bring them home. So they have like a lined pocket with like this flower. Oh wait, is it the same? It's just... <laughs> It's the same flower as the skirt. I didn't notice that. <laughs> okay, so I'll put she down there. Um, also, before I went, I made this bag for she. Um, she needed a... How do I... Okay. She needed a new bag, so I made this. It's got this as the straps, and then on each side, it's got a cute little rainbow feather. Here's the front of it. She's got three of her buttons on there and you open it and it's lined. And I um, made this pattern myself. So it's not perfect and it's all stitched with like um, red. And then it's got all her cool stuff inside. So yeah. And it snaps closed. So back onto the clothing. Um, so Ashley gave me some stuff that she didn't want anymore because she's not really collecting SDs anymore. So give me some SD clothes. This is, I don't know the correct wording for it. I think this is a Yukata. I, th I don't know. I don't know the difference, but it's one of these thingies. Um, that's really cool. And then where's, and then got this for SD. It's like a, I don't know. How, I don't know what kind of top this is. It like goes over here. The boobs go like in here and this wraps around. So that's cute for SD. Um, this dress. Hold on, I hear them eating some. Oh, it's fine. Cowboy was eating a water bottle. Um, I got, she gave me this shirt, which matches up with this skirt. You kind of like put put it like that I think so that's super cute um this like spring or summer dress it's like elastic at the top this um boob window shirt so like the cleavage sticks out right here so that's really cool um I made these MSD size undies and I'm sure they'll only fit she um I scaled them to she size so and they're lacy. She's not the biggest fan of the lacy trim, but it's okay. 
Um, and then this MSD thing. I don't know who's going to wear this. Possibly um, Cass. But. And this is actually the shirt that Zimmer came with. You can see the little Eiffel House logo. So Lou gave me this to have. So got an extra shirt for Zimmer. Um, I got this. I thought this would make a cute crown for like a little headdress for um, Cass. It's her, I don't know who would fit into this dress, but got this cute little tiny dress. Um, I got, Ashley gave me this for Zimmer, so it's like, I don't know how to, it's like lacy lingerie undies for big male dolls. So, yeah. And I'm gonna put it on Zimmer. <laughs> Um, okay, and then Ashley made me this, and she made one for me, Lou, and her dolls within, like, um, color coordination that we wanted. So, it's another one of those robe things. I don't know. I don't know how they're called. I don't want to say the wrong thing. And it's got, like, one of the things that, like, um, wrap, like, wraps around it. So, that's cool. She hand sewed, she sewed these for us. Um, and then I got this cute bumblebee fabric for just like, how much was it? $3.72. Look how cute that is. So, love that. Uh, I did make some other clothes, but I'm going to show you at the end of the video. I got something very special that I want to save for the end, so... <laughs> I'll try to zoom through this. Also got Zimmer's extra hands. Uh, Lou swore he gave them to me, but they were there. Uh, so a karate chop, yeah, yeah, and a fisty punch, poop, poop, poop. So, yep, yeah, those are his extra hands. Jeez. Then I went to, we went to an antique shop and we got, I got these two things. So one is going to be for Poppy. So this is for Poppy. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this, it is a broken like inner mechanisms of a clock and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever so I got that I don't know who will take it but possibly Sasha oh one of the little handles fell off there we go okay this cute little picture of a house I thought would look cute in somebody's room I got this Polaroid camera but it is broken <laughs> Like, it's supposed to, like, stay in, and then you're supposed to press this button, and it pops out, but it's broken. But I got this. This was, I think, world's one of the world's smallest things. And then speaking of world's smallest, I got world's smallest whew, barrel of monkeys. Um, <laughs> I love these. I love the world's smallest stuff. Um world's smallest uno cards and it's it's like you can play a game of uno with them it's so cool um it's like the whole deck there so that is super awesome how do i okay um uh oh and one of these world's smallest water guns um you can actually go like this and you put water in the top and it actually squirts water. It's so cool. Like it squirts out of here and you put the water in there. Like a real water gun is so cool. I squirted she in the face with it. <laughs> um, got, uh, Ashley gave me a bunch of these little doll scrunchies. So that's awesome for putting their hair up. I got a little blind box, box Minecraft figure, and I also got two more blind boxes for my younger cousins. 
Um, but I got this one, and it's gonna be for Lou. I got, we went to the Maritime Museum, the, like, the boat museum in, um, Oregon. No, it was probably, was it in Seattle? I think it might have been in Seattle. But I got this tiny little, uh, what's it called? <laughs> I'm totally blanking. I can't, uh, notification. Okay. Totally blanking. Harmonica. <laughs> it really works. So tiny. I got it for Maven because he is a bard. Um, and at the same place, I got this little jar of dice and it's like, I don't know if you can see how freaking tiny they are. It is so cool. I got these like for, I don't know if I want to set up a scene of them playing like a game together or something. Um, this cute little, I think it's supposed to be an ornament, but it can kind of, it looks like a drink, like a weird kind of drink with a swirly straw. And then we got some mini brand stuff. Um, I got these two uh, paper bags. Um, they're super cool. They fold out into like actual little bags. And then I got some Blue Diamond Almonds. And I have three different ones of these and they're all different flavors. Um, so I think I might have all of them, but that's, that's kind of funny. I really like Blue Diamond Almonds, so. Then I got this nude cat food. Uh, and I, this is gonna be for Lou, because Lou is supposed to have a cat. I just don't have it for her yet, but it's fine. Got this little toy. And this was the one I was most excited for. Um, like the little watercolor set, the Crayola watercolor set. And then this little Dora. And then, this was like uber lame. I keep getting the stupid um, gold ones. I wanna like sell them in like a bundle on like Etsy or eBay or something, or on eBay, cause I hate the gold ones and I keep getting them and I hate them. Um, I But anyway, I got this box. And then this one was my favorite one from the, the mini brands the that ball was the little it's like actually got like sculpted turkey inside that's so funny um and then i got this so i want to show you eh. so it's like that and you pull a little pin out um i can't do it when i'm not looking but you pull Pull the pin out and it um opens up like that isn't that so cool i don't know who it'll be for possibly sasha um and then got these um i got some mixed crystals and they're just perfect for doll size um i got some amethyst they're like little tiny chunks. I got turquoise and my personal fave, I got citrine. Oh, itchy nose, itchy nose. Allergies are so bad. Um, I also was able to bring home, whoops. Oh, I forgot, I wanna show you. I got world's smallest of these things. Uh, they're like the that you can like build towers with and stuff super cool i never had any when i was a kid but my friends did um i finally got zimmer's um eiple house stuff and his uh coa i don't see it right now but it is i have it now <laughs> i do have the coa now um now I will keep it off. Oh, oh, I kind of put it on screen. It's fine. Ah, okay. So I wanted to show you this first before I show you the really exciting thing. After this thing, the really exciting thing is coming up. So I got this little backpack thing and I put straps on it and they're like sparkly and iridescent. 
And then I put some little charms on it. I put this charm. And then, whoops. These two charms on a zipper. And inside are so many goodies. Ashley gave me these bag of sparkles. And then, ugh, I'll just like... I'm not going to show you every single thing, but, like, all these little, like, crafty, like, stuff. I don't know. For, like, making doll jewelry and stuff. So many things. And then, the most exciting thing, <laughs> I think. Um, say hello to Madeline. She is a Oasis Dolls Yaoyu, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but uh, I'll just, I'll show her to you. I think she's 60 centimeters. Um, I made her whole outfit, so we'll start there. So I made this cute little shirt with these little blue cuffs, a little blue collar, and it's like all fluffy and oversized. And then I made her this two-tone split skirt so the top is like reverse of the bottom and then these adorable little knee-high socks with this cute stretchy lace on the top and I made this little necklace for her and I made this one out of the same stretchy lace I made this earring for her I made her wig and I made this little bow um, and here's her face. Um, Lou actually did this face up. So this is Lou's doll. Uh, he got her in 2011. And, uh, he, she was, it's a funny story. She was laying, no head, just the body, face down on the floor of his closet. And his head was, like, sitting on a shelf somewhere. Her, her head was sitting on a shelf somewhere. And, like, her head back was nowhere to be found. Um, and so he picked up the body and he was like, oh, I think I did the face up on this, the, this head. And he went and got the head. And then he was looking at it. He's like, do you want it? And I was like, the doll? And he was like, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, sure. Okay. So now I have another doll. Um, I decided to name her Madeline. Um, she's such a sweet, sweet face. Sorry. Sweet, sweet face. Um. He did this face up and I want to bring over Lou LaBelle real quick because he did her, he did her face up too. So Lou LaBelle, a soul doll Giselle, he got in, she was also a gift from him. He got her in 2009 and she was from 2011. So if you look at the two face-ups. He did both the face-ups. I don't know. Aren't they gorgeous? He is so good at face-ups. But, um, yeah. Oh, I also, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I got these tiny cell phones. <laughs> and it's, Lou's been carrying them around. It's Lou's. Uh, <laughs> And I also put these dinosaur earrings on her. <laughs> but, okay, she's taller than Lou. She's a little taller than Lou, so. Um, yeah, so, this is Madeline. She, whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness. She's single-jointed, and I hawk loose waited her there at the house. Um... So she holds her poses really well, but, um, this is, like, the highest it'll go. But, um, she holds her in-betweens, and with her arms same, this is as, sorry, this is as high as her arms will go, but she'll hold in-between, and she will hold, like, her arms, like, out and stuff. So, yeah! I'm so, so crazy excited. Oh, I forgot one last thing. I got two pieces of furniture while we were antique shopping, but I was only able to bring one home and the other one we're going to have to, I'm going to try to get in my suitcase next time I go. But this is the one that fit this time. Whoa. It is this adorable 
sofa. So cute for like a smaller MSDs, I think would be nice on this. Then I got a super cool armchair that would be good size for SD and then a little big for MSD. But um, I don't have that with me, obviously. Uh, I think I think that's it for updates and things. Oh, it was Red's birthday on July 11th. So while I was in Portland, I got her these cookies. Um, her she loves fruit, so I got her the berry sorbet ones. So super awesome. All right. Um, I think that's it, and I will hopefully see you guys next time. Bye. Sasha, what are you doing?